Mark, Making Healthcare Safer 3 report. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Brady, Director of the Center for Quality Improvement and Patient Safety at the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, or ARC. I'm proud to introduce the Making Healthcare Safer 3 report. I believe this report represents a unique opportunity to dramatically improve patient safety in the United States. Making Healthcare Safer 3 identifies nearly four dozen practices that can improve patient safety across a variety of settings and stakeholders. It's a comprehensive report whose pages are filled with practical guidance on how today's clinicians can keep patients free from harm. These 47 practices include technological and staffing innovations, a series of hygiene and disinfection interventions, and several practices designed to prevent medication error and reduce opioid misuse and overdose. This report matters because it will help clinicians navigate complex waters. Before we commit to implementing a patient safety practice, we wanna know that we won't be wasting our precious time and resources. This report provides information the field needs to evaluate how to prioritize efforts to keep patients safe. The Making Healthcare Safer 3 report was researched and written by a variety of patient safety experts studying the best available evidence. This is ARC's third Making Healthcare Safer report. The first, published back in 2001, proposed 11 practices that became the cornerstone of many hospitals' patient safety improvement programs. The second Making Healthcare Safer report, published in 2013, examined how cost, implementation, and contextual considerations can influence the effectiveness of safety innovations. Now with this third Making Healthcare Safer report, we're looking directly into the future of how to keep patients safe as part of 21st century healthcare. This report is the next step on a long journey. There will always be threats to patient safety, and as long as there are, we'll be there doing what we can to identify, reduce, and mitigate them. For more information, visit us at ahrq.gov, presented by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality.